Hey, Saddleback family. I'm excited to get to share with you for just a few minutes today. And I'll be honest, today is kind of a sad day for me because um, normally today would be the day that I would be getting on a plane with about um, 30 or so of our junior high and high school students at our church and flying across the world to Rwanda in Africa. And if you've been around Saddleback for a while, you know that Rwanda is a place and a country that is so near and dear to our hearts as a church. And the same is true for our student ministries, our junior high and high school ministries here at Saddleback. For the past decade, we've been taking teams every year to Rwanda, specifically to this one village in the mountains, this rural village called Biumba. And now at this point, we've taken literally a couple hundred students, teenagers from our church to Biumba. And it's become one of my favorite places in the entire world. I love that that place is so beautiful, but the people of Biumba are what really have captured my heart over the last several times I've gotten to be on those trips. And it's one of my favorite things in the world to watch our students come alive in, in Rwanda, to watch them, let God use them, um, maybe sometimes for the first time to do things that are so beyond them, right? I've watched our teenagers um, lead grown men and women to a relationship with Jesus. I've watched them baptize people. I've watched them pray for healing for somebody and then God actually heals them, right? I've watched them love on people with HIV and AIDS and so many other amazing things. Um, it's been the, one of the greatest joys of, of my life to watch those moments happen before my eyes. But honestly, my favorite thing about those trips every time that I get to go and maybe you've experienced this same thing as well if you've been on a peace trip before is no matter how much God uses us to serve and love um, the people we're going to, inevitably, every time, 100% of the time, we end up being the ones who feel like we get way more blessing and way more encouragement and way more inspiration from the people that we are going across the world to love and serve we get way more than we could ever give them. And that's like the paradox of peace trips, right? Maybe you've experienced that for yourselves. And we try to prepare our students for that truth, but really they've got to experience it for themselves. And I love those light bulb moments when they finally realize, man, these people, they might not have as much material wealth or opportunity as, as I do, but man, they possess different kind of wealth that is far greater than I have, and I, I want some more of that. They have joy that that isn't tied to circumstance. It comes from the Lord, um, and I want some more of that for myself. And man, I just want to tell you really quick just one story of a person who um, I've been inspired by from meeting in Biumba, because those those moments don't just happen for our students; they happen for me every time I go as well. And this one woman that I want to tell you about for just a minute is Vivian. Um, she's known as Mama Vivian in her community, so that's what I call her, Mama Vivian. And Vivian um, is who I think of when I think of a saint, right? And this woman, along with a few others, for the last 15 years, six days a week, wake up before dawn and start cooking meals. This isn't a job. They're not getting paid for this. They're cooking meals for 50 or so poor and orphan children in their community who otherwise would go hungry. For most of those kids, that's the meal that they're going to get in a given day. And Vivian, for the past 15 years, has been serving her community and children in her community in need in such an amazing and incredible way. And she's truly the unsung hero of Biumba and one of my favorite people I've gotten the chance to meet. And you, man, you talk about faithfulness, right? Over 15 years of faithfully serving without recognition, without getting paid or anything like that. The first time I met Vivian, I immediately thought of Jesus' words in Matthew 25. And he's telling us a parable of the servants. He's talking about how every time that you give food to the hungry or give water to the thirsty or clothe the naked or provide home and hospitality to the homeless, you're doing that for me. That's what Jesus says. And Vivian, through her faithful service to poor and orphan children in her community, has been actually serving and loving Jesus so faithfully for 15 years. It's amazing. And she's become, in my mind, Mama Vivian has become the model of what generosity and faithfulness looks like. 
And I've been so inspired and our students who have met her have been so inspired to come back to our life and our circles and take a good look around us and see, man, what needs exist in my circle that I can step up and step into and serve Jesus and love him by serving his people and who are in need around me. And that's the encouragement I wanna give to all of us today is maybe just take a minute and just look around at your life. Look at your circle right now. To look at your, your neighbors, your peers, your friends, your coworkers, your family. What needs exist around you? What needs you see? Look through the eyes of Jesus into your circles. And what needs could you step into? Here's a challenging question I'm asking myself right now. What could you give yourself fully to even if you never got recognized for it. That's challenging, right? That's tough. But here's something that a friend told me recently, and this is what I'll leave us with today, just to chew on, is faithfulness is rarely the easier road. But when we choose to walk it, God in his faithfulness will show us his goodness all along the way. Faithfulness and obedience is rarely easy, It takes hard work, but when we choose to step into obedience and faithfulness, that God in his faithfulness is going to show us his goodness all along the way. So I'll leave you with that today, and I hope that's encouraging and inspiring to you. How can you be more generous like Mama Vivian? Love you, church.